We stand here today in Accra, Ghana, West Africa, sending a message of solidarity, letting you know that your brothers and sisters here in Mother Africa stand with you during this season. Not only do we stand with the family of George Floyd, but we stand with all the families who still mourn for their lost loved ones. We stand with the whole struggle of African Americans and Africans in all parts of the diaspora who've had their human dignity disrespected and disgraced and their human life snuffed out through many different forms. So we today send out our voice. The womb of Mother Africa has cried out for her sons and daughters. And we cry out in solidarity to know that we are one people. We gather here today in solidarity with our brothers and sisters in the USA to change the status quo. Racism must end. We pray and hope that George Floyd's death will not be in vain, but will bring an end to prejudice and racial discrimination across the world. We continue to open our arms and invite all our brothers and sisters home. Ghana is your home. Africa is your home. We have our arms wide open, ready to welcome you home. Please take advantage. Come home. Build a life in Ghana. You do not have to stay where you are not wanted forever. You have a choice, and Africa is waiting for you. When you have a son and daughters in America who wake up every day and is fearful of the police, is fearful of the justice system in America, it's difficult not to cry. Gianna, the six-year-old daughter of George Perry Floyd, said daddy will change the world and daddy is changing the world today we're here to uh, celebrate the life of george floyd uh, he went out in very unfortunate circumstances and as the people we were here to solidarize with the diaspora community last year our president uh, through an open invitation to the global African family to come to the motherland and they did respond in their numbers and so if one of them has fallen it's only proper and due that we come in with our numbers to also show solidarity to them and I think the number of people who were here uh, and the caliber of people who were here from different communities different associations the triple ag the pan affairs foundation the office of diaspora affairs everybody was here and i think the message has gone out there that if one falls we all fall and we are using this video also to invite the global african family that once again africa is ready to receive you and it's time for you to escape to africa This isn't stained by someone in Minneapolis. It's still got a shine on it. And so do theirs. So do theirs. Stop treating us like animals and thugs and start treating us with some respect. That's what we're here today to say. We've been left out of the conversation. We've been vilified. It's disgusting. It's disgusting trying to make us embarrassed of our profession. 375 million interactions. Overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly positive. Nobody talks about all the police officers that were killed in the last week in the United States of America, and there were a number of them. We don't condone Minneapolis. We roundly reject what he did as disgusting. It's disgusting. It's not what we do. It's not what police officers do. Our legislators abandoned us. The press is vilifying us. Well, you know what, guys? I'm proud to be a cop. And I'm going to continue to be proud to be a cop until the day I retire. And that's all I have to say.